Nice baby. Look at that tiny little thing. Backside loop whipper. Bailey wants to flip this gap. Yo. Behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Good morning everyone, it's your boy Phineas B here aka Scooter Brad. We are here at Templeton Skate Park. We're gonna have a game of trick dice today and I'm filming on the most awkward setup. Let me grab out my phone and just show you guys. So in yesterday's vlog, you would have seen that I actually broke my camera, like legit, fully on broke it. So this is what I'm filming with right now. I'm gonna show you guys on this camera. We got the mic like set up between the Joby because the, uh, the thing on top is completely busted. As you can see there, I need to order a new microphone, essentially, is what I need to do. So, today's session we got... Thomas Renau. Bailey. Jacob Allen. Nah, Josh. Oh, Matthew. And myself, obviously. Hey. And the locals. Say hi, guys. Hi! We're gonna get into the game of uh, trick dice, but before we do that, Bailey wants to flip this gap. Last time Bailey tried this gap, his hand was all cut up. Have you got a scar? Oh, damn. That's not too bad, but... It's a pretty decent scar, though. You got the Team Magma hat, he's rocking it hard. I've got a brand new hat. It's got Finner on the back, you already know. And uh, where is the other one? Matt's got that purple hat, he's got it rocking it. If you guys want to leave a comment in the comment section down there of a name that you might want to call the purple hats, and I might drop some if a lot of you guys like them. Bailey's going to think about this gap. It's a pretty bloody big gap, look at this. Ooh. Ooh. Need any encouragement? 10k likes. 10k? It's a sketchy gap. It like. is a pretty sketchy gap. 5k then. 5k, oh, yeah, we'll have it. 5k, alright, let's go. Bailey is always trying gnarly gaps like this, so make sure you guys are subscribing and coming back for videos every day because Bailey's always sending brand new tricks over massive gaps. It's crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Send it. Ooh. Oh, first tee! Yo. Josh's reaction, he's just like, what? That was nuts. That was nuts, eh? That was a massive backy. Yeah, nice. What did I tell you guys? You guys need to come back every single video because Bailey's always sending massive gnarly tricks. That's so gangster. And I'm like in the background too. You got that clutch, bro. And you have such high bars. I don't so it makes it even sicker. Right? Without further ado, I'm gonna go grab the dice out of my bag. You can thank YOLOWarrior.com for these trick dice, yeah. aka Terry Price, the man behind the scenes running the show at uh, YOLOWarrior.com. He also hooked it up with this nice Rastafarian wax. It's absolutely buttery. I've tried the other stuff, so I'm gonna crack open this one today if we need to use it. But for right now, I've got the... These are the advanced dice, and I've got the street ones in here somewhere as well. We've got two sets of dice. We're gonna be playing with both sets of them, and it's gonna be all five of us, full park, and let's get it underway. Look at how sketchy this is, eh? All right, on the dice, we've got the advanced and the streets, like I said. On the advanced dice, we have finger whip, bri flip, whip rewind, whip bar, kickless, and triple whip. On the other dice, we got tefaki, flat, to stall, 180, 360, and fly out. But we won't count fly out, eh? Fly out should be in. Fly out, it's in. And then the next one, the street ones, we got to. To Manny, we got bar out, to fakey, whip out, bar into, and whip into, and we got feeble, frontside board, backside lip, backside board. Okay, essentially what we're gonna do, we're gonna roll all four of the dice and we're gonna pick either two or as many as we actually want if we wanna do an entire line or just one of the tricks and we'll do that. So pretty much we're gonna get it underway. Matt, Bailey, Thomas, Josh, me. Yes. Yes. Here's the dice, my friend. So you got kickless, bar out, backside lip, and flat. What do you want? Bar out, flat. Bar out, flat. <laughs> All right. Starting it simple, guys. All right. So you got bri flip, whip in, 360, or feeble. I do whip, feeble, 360. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> two to get or one to get? Uh, two to get, you reckon? Okay. Oh, that's a D right there. You like that D, Bailey? I could have just done whip. Yeah, just on the corner. Dice, baby. <laughs> you got frontside lip without triple whip and 180. So what, what do you want to do? He's got good selection here. 180, whip out. Wait, it's kind of awkward because like it's a circle. 180, fake your round, whip in. Oh, jeez. Yow. 
So you got whip bar, 360, fakey, and backside lip. Backside lip whip bar? Go on. On the flat rail though. On the flat rail? Yeah. Yeah, backside lip whip bar. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got finger whip to fakey, flat or backside lip. Finger flat. Finger flat? Yeah, go yeah. on. Finger, finger flat. I'll do it like here. Oh, I got it. Yeah. First round's finished. Bailey's the only person on D. The rest of us are sweet. You nearly look like you broke your angle a lot. What do we got? Triple whip. whip out. Whip out. I'll try triple whip 180 whip out. Okay. Look. I don't know about going to fakey though because yo we oh my god it actually like doesn't even spin. I know. No, nah, there's no way you're going to fakey. No way. Board whip on this bad boy. Oh my god. All the subs will be so disappointed that you can't board whip, man. We've got so many street subscribers. They're going to be roasting you right now with your apex complete well, and you're not whipping out of boards. Oh, Matt's on the D. On the D. Here you go. Flat bar out triple whip front slide lip. What do you want? Okay. Flat. Triple whip flat. flat. Triple whip flat. Woo. Yeah, I'll try. Have you ever done that? Yeah. I oh, this table is so dodgy. Oh, oh. <laughs> so bad. Sketch bubble count it. That was me beating. To yeah, stall, to fakey, bright flip, backside lip. Bristol. I can't do that either. Oh yeah. How about backside lip right. to fakey? You can do that. Back flip 180. Do it on the flat. Back flip 180. Just oh, first Smith we've seen. Whip rewind, bar out. Smith and flat. What about what line? Can? Whip rewind flat, Smith yeah. bar out. But you can chuck anything you want in that Smith. Yeah, we're doing the little one. <laughs> Did you bail? <laughs> Josh. 360, Manny, triple whip, backside board. Um, how about backside board 360? I can do that. Second round's complete. We got one more round to do because it's really windy and actually pretty cold out here. We want to go to a different spot. So we'll go one more round. By the way, if you guys want us to do another video like entirely trick dice, let us know. Make sure you subscribe. Come back for the next video when it comes out. All right, who's up, Matt? By the way, you're going straight. Kickless backside look 180. How about with the hip and then kickless it? Yeah, okay. Yep. Casual. Oh. Whip rewind, Manny, 180, and Smith. Okay, so I'm gonna do whip rewind 180 to manual to Smith, and I'll probably add something in the end. So he's gonna whip rewind to fakey out of the ramp, he's gonna fakey round, 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 pivot into manual, hit the Smith on the quarter, and then drop it. Oh, feels <laughs> oh, the hop. <laughs> you quitting? Oh, he's a quitter. <laughs> finger whip, stall, fakey, or Smith? Finger to stall. Finger to stall? Sample. What's the bit he's gonna do a flare? Called it. <laughs> Bar out, whip rewind, feeble 180. You can do all of them, surely. So, on the ledge, I'll go front feeble, 180, whip rewind, camp bar. Josh is obviously the man, he's just gonna do all of them. Is that you? Nice! That was a pretty good game. I'm actually red barring on the battery life right now, so I'm gonna switch it up to the GoPro, get a couple of jibbies on that, maybe film some insties. And coming back for another video of Trick Dice, let us know down in the comments if you want us to make a video like that. And for right now, let's head out to the GoPro. Let's get it. First things first, gotta sign some of the fans. Scooters. Who's first? Me. Hey. All right. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Cheers, man. Thank you. Skirt, skirt. Jibbies, 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 jibbies. This is my favorite A-frame. Oh. 
Oh god. Stand on the insties, boys. Josh reckons he's gonna jump from the nipple out to the flyout. I don't think so. Oh! Yo! Where's my power rate at? I'm back in town, the weather's terrible, I'm going to get a new microphone. The mic me? Uh, or the micro? The micro on your DSLR. Rode, micro, compact on camera, microphone. Fluffy thing, stabilizer thing, cable thing, absorb packet, do not eat thing, manual, microphone. Look at that tiny little thing. Isn't that cute? All right, I'm gonna try this out. I'm assuming that you pretty much just shove that in there. That seems about right. Chuck this stability thing on the back. Click. Plug this bad boy in. And then pretty much just chuck it on the top of the camera. Right, better audio incoming in three, two, one. How's that? Do I sound better? I bloody well hope so because the thing costs $99. Why do I have a new microphone, you ask? Well, this one is definitely, one, past its use by day, and two, I actually snapped them out completely off the bottom there, so that totally sucks. But, as you can see, like, it's actually been, like, broken and stuff prior to me actually breaking the mount. You can see here that there's just, there's, like, splits in the side of it and stuff, and this one, you actually had to have a battery and turn it on and off. This one that I have now, you don't have to turn it on. Like, it just turns on with the camera, so that's really good. So no more messing around with 9 volt batteries. That's fantastic. Um, if there's any avid vloggers out there, definitely, 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 definitely don't mess around with anything but Rode microphones with microphones. This new one that I have, it's a Rode, as you can see, so R-O-D-E, you got the Rode microphone there. This is also one of the older Rode shotgun microphones and it actually came with like a stabilizer thing as well, which I tend not to use because it made a little bit of background noise in some videos in some specific situations, but pretty much all it is is a long shotgun microphone with a dimmer on the front, so that's really great. But um, yeah, like I said, this one was definitely past its use by date and I needed to get a new one, so that is what I did. If you've ever wondered how I set up my studio for Scoot Review, this is how I do it. I've got one light here, I've got another light just over here, and then I've got my tripod, and then I pull the curtains back as much as I can, get as much natural lighting in the room as possible, and then I pretty much just gotta plug everything in and get the shot right, and then we're good to go. The problem is, is that these cables never actually reach where I want them to go. Because I don't have any extension cords, and my multi-box is extremely touchy. Roughly there is fine. The tripod here. Pop that bad boy down. Depending on what kind of day it is outside, considering today is a really terrible day, I usually do have to put this light up on the desk just to get more light on my face itself because the backlit monitors definitely take away a lot from the foreground. So I have to have two direct lights just on my face so that you guys can see me rather than seeing the background. Nice. Oh, and uh, courtesy of Jacob for the broken tripod, my tripod was in pretty good nick until Jacob actually knocked my camera 
over, like off this height, my tripod pretty much fell over and smashed on the ground with my old camera on it. So it actually completely broke the front side of this tripod. So I need to get a new one. If you guys know any good tripod people, let me know down in the comment section. Maybe I can get a sponsorship, who knows. But uh, yeah, I, I definitely need a new new uh, tripod, that's for sure. Alrighty, it's time to film Scoot Review for real. If you guys want to check it out, it'll be up in the cards because that video will already be out. But here we oh go. Oh god, no way did he drop the same two clips that somebody else dropped. That's uncanny disrespect i say disrespect yeah so yesterday's episode of screw review went off without a hitch it was a great video definitely check it out in the cards if you have not done so already by the way quick plug before i finish off the vlog today i'm giving a 10 percent off all orders on my website at the moment if you use the code finnasb10 you'll get 10 percent off your entire order so definitely go and check it out i've also put a sale price on extra smalls in the black camo tees so if you guys are like maybe like 8 to 13 you want to get an extra small Cop one, they're on special at the moment, and I've also got a few hoodies in the smalls that are on sale as well. Special prices for you guys because I need to get through them so that I can move on to doing my brand new merchandise with my network, which is going to be absolutely dope. They're going to be providing some awesome new designs for me, and I'm sorting out my uh, stickers at the moment too because you guys have been begging me for stickers. Here is a concept for one of the stickers. Boom, right here. If you guys like it, let me know. I've also got another one. Boom, right there. If you guys want to leave me some comment suggestions down in the comment section of what colors you'd like to see in the stickers, definitely do so I'm thinking of doing like the camo as one and then I'll do a I'll do the galaxy and I'll do the tie-dye one as well because you guys have been asking for those colorways as well and I might actually do some shirts in those colorways as well so let me know if you guys would cop a shirt or cop anything in regards to a certain color definitely hit me up that is all for the video today everybody thank you so much for watching I love you guys so much thank you for giving me a like on this video and a comment if you did leave one I really appreciate all of you guys watching this at home and uh, I will see you guys at the same time tomorrow for another brand new video. Peace out. Have an amazing day.